Hey guys, it's a Soul Rack 333 with another custom review, and I fooled everyone. This is actually a Generations or Classics Alternative Optimus Prime, and not a classic Classics Cliff Jumper. Um, I wanted to do that Cliff Jumper video um, on my way to this Alternative Optimus Prime, and this is the second time I've painted this Alternative Optimus Prime. I did one years ago, uh, sold it, and then regretted selling it ever since. Uh, then I got my hands on another Reveal the Shield Jazz figure and thought I would take another crack at it, and this time it stays in my collection. And yeah, same process as before. I gave him a matte black uh, base coat with Krylon spray paint. And I guess Krylon no longer makes the flat black, so I now have to use the matte black. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of still wish they had the uh, the ultra flat black uh, back when I started. That's what I used, uh, but I guess now I just have to use the matte black, and it does give it a different texture. Um, but I mean, it's what I have to use now. And uh, once I got it with the black base coat, uh, dry brushed it with Tester's Acrylic Silver, um, Tester's Acrylic Semi-Gloss Black for the windows, silver for the headlights, red for the taillights, chrome for the exhaust pipes, the rims are now silver, and then max masked up. Uh, any parts that I didn't want painted with painters tape and then painted the alt mode with Krylon gloss cherry red uh, and There he is in the alt mode and Here's the alternity Optimus Prime So yeah, I wanted to make a classics version of this car, which is awesome I missed the alternative line. And then to transform him. Pop the doors out. Unfold the legs. Separate. Bring down the feet. So that I can unfold the lower leg. Bring out the heels. Then bring down the arms. So, oh, here's the gun. And bring the head out. And there is Alternity Optimus Prime in his robot mode and painted the arms uh, with testers acrylic guards red and the f legs and hands with testers acrylic insignia blue the head is unpainted and I think it was originally from one of the either war for Cybertron or fall of Cybertron I think War for Cybertron, Optimus Prime. I did have to sand the head a little bit because it does touch the hood of the car. But the ball joint fits perfectly. So here is his gun. And yeah, I'm 
very happy to have this in my collection again. Here he is with the Jazz, the NK Jazz. wheelie and my other custom shockwave so that looks pretty cool together and then if optimus is now a car then it makes sense that Megatron is a jet. Decepticons are jets, Autobots are cars. So Megatron is now a jet and Optimus is a car. So they look cool together. Now this, I, do, I like Optimus and Megatron being the same height, but now that he's a car and he's a jet, this makes a lot more sense to me. And then show all of my up to my customs. To put them all on screen together. Beast Hunters Optimus, War for Cybertron Optimus, my Fall of Cybertron Orion Pax, and my old Deluxe Optimus. So, all of my Optimi customs. So both of these have the same paint scheme the with the cherry red. And then let's give him a proper Optimus gun. So yeah. My new classics alternative optimus prime and thanks for watching guys